Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode we got a basic bathroom and bedroom going, we also established a small infrastructure in order to do the research. We're definitely gonna focus on research in this episode and also getting our first farms and food sources rolling. I want to continue making my way over into the various chambers. Actually, maybe before I do that, I want to get started by routing the polluted water downstairs. Yeah, I kind of want to go ahead and collect it all at the bottom. So we're going to continue with our ladder shaft here. Now let's have a quick look at the temperatures. We are not in immediate danger when it comes to heat. There seem to be some really hot pockets every now and then, also over here, that are over a thousand degrees, but we're protected by a layer of abyssalite. At the bottom, we have the max my layer and we do happen to have a bunch of very cold biome so this might be useful for our early food storage unfortunately these cold spots are too far away from my base layout and this one here isn't cold enough to make it extraordinarily useful so i think in the beginning we're just gonna focus on providing just enough food so that we don't starve but we also don't have to keep it fresh for very long oh no knees bet i didn't pay attention now if we're quick enough we can actually mop this up yeah you know i think we're safe this way i can mop this up later no problem wonderful the next research has been conducted giving us access Access to the electric grill, the farm tile and the egg cracker. Let's go ahead and set up the first farm right there. I'm also gonna go ahead and just set up 16 tiles. Let me see, there is some slime in the way. I still want to avoid it. Now we need to go for another research all the way down here, namely the sludge press. And this is gonna give us access to fresh water through the means of pressing mud. That is two researches away, just requiring the basic research station. Can we do it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, too much liquid. There's our first farm tile. Let's just check out what we require. We got a life cycle of 6.6 .6 cycles for this plant. It requires darkness and a temperature between 10 to 30 degrees. We can have it with an oxygen polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide. And it just requires 40 kilograms of polluted water, which we have plenty of. So we're going to go ahead and plant that and copy the setting over for each of these farm tiles. Plumbing has been researched. We can now start to pump liquids around. The compost actually was still from the first research, just turning polluted dirt into normal dirt. And then we also got access to the mess table, which I'm gonna build on the top here. And since we can already do that out of gold amalgam, we should consider that. Mm, no, I'm gonna do that once I upgrade the base. Let's just stick to what we need for now and not exaggerate. Before I forget, I should also close off these rooms so they actually count as a room. Eventually, I'm gonna replace these tiles with airflow tiles so we have better airflow. One thing I forgot was to add the bog jelly to the ration box. Of course, I want this to be taken care of. Amari, of course, because of the priorities, is taking care of farming, adding the necessary polluted water to the plants. Gene is doing an amazing job at researching liquid filter already researched. We got a gas filter and, of course, the sludge press I was going for. To get this process started, I'm just gonna set this up very easily. And we also hook up a bunch of pipes to this. And for now, I'm probably just gonna dump this down below where we're gonna set up our liquid storage room. At this point, we could go ahead and just conduct one research after another, but I find the long-term playthroughs much more interesting when I research whatever I require, especially when we don't have that much dupe labor in the beginning, Jean can help out around the base, and whenever we need access to something new, I'm gonna go for it. What I much rather see than new research right now is the ladder shaft continuing all the way up. Now, let me see. We might want to collect some of the resources at certain spots. So let's prevent the resources not directly on the ladder from dropping too far down. Oh, nice. Looks like we get our first skill points. This is going to be especially important for Nisbet to get into hard digging. But for Jean, it's also clear. Just needs progress in research. So advanced research it is. And we can assign the appropriate hat. Oh yes, go ahead and enjoy your new upgrade. Now all the bok jelly we are currently having in our storage are going bad rather quickly. Minus 43 percentages per cycle and that is because we have it in polluted oxygen. So maybe there is a research we want to conduct as soon as possible and that is the deodorizer. 
we can find this neat little contraption right here, converting polluted oxygen to normal oxygen using sand. If we check out the amount of sand we currently have, it's just 2000 kilograms. So it's not going to be a reliable resource unless we also research the rock crusher. I think in this case, we have no choice. We're going to go for the rock crusher first right here in order to create sand. And then we need to go for the advanced research and afterwards for the deodorizer. In the meantime, we could think about setting up a different ration box maybe somewhere in carbon dioxide down below here the problem is it's just too far away from the future great hall so maybe just maybe we're gonna create a little pocket like this and that is also just gonna be an emergency solution but we basically want to build another ration box here that is eventually gonna be within carbon dioxide this way at least we only lose the minus 18 percent per cycle for it being unrefrigerated Another option would be to use an actual fridge. You know, I could do that. I never do that and I don't know why because we do have the power. Well, not really. I still think it might be worth it. So fridge might be another research I want to conduct very early. I also want to go ahead, prepare my liquid storage. How large do I want to make this? Not too large. I basically want my pitcher pumps to be right here with one, two, three, four spaces below. And then this would be my liquid storage. Eventually, I'm going to bring it all the way over to here here I think but first I need to handle the polluted water here all of this is supposed to go over here dribble down and then down below here okay we're still good now that the two rooms are enclosed they should also count towards the morale bonus at least the barracks here what are we missing ah oh, this is now probably too large because the missing tile here but we can easily fix that Good. At this point, I don't need to intervene as often. I don't want to give out hundreds of thousands of commands. So I have everything a little bit under control. That means I want to switch to the fastest speed. But first, Amari gained a skill point. Actually, Nisbet as well. We can finally unlock the hard digging skill for her. And then Amari needs to work towards ranching, of course. Let's go ahead and do improved farming. We now also unlocked the water cooler. I'm actually going to place one in the mess hall. And so for now, I think I'm just going to set this up in the center of the future room we can actually make the great hall larger if we wanted to right now we have eight beds more than enough toilets and there's going to be more than enough mess tables so i don't think i'm gonna actually do that for the starter base i much rather keep the same size of the room right here and just do that also gonna keep going with the ladder removing the unnecessary chunk there the printing pot is ready for the second time. Let's go ahead and do it. Do we have a good duplicate? Turner here is actually an interesting candidate, just dedicated to operating, but he could also help out with the digging process. However, not someone that convinces me. I'm going to be very picky in the beginning. So let's just print out the sandstone. I also would like to set up some storage bins that I can utilize in order to grab materials that I don't want on the floor, such as for this contraption. So there will be nothing on the floor that off-gasses polluted oxygen. I'm actually going to leave this spot here in place so that I can have access to polluted water as well. So let's open this one up again. Another research is completed. We gain access to the crafting station for oxygen masks. We now also have access to the rock crusher and kiln, both of which I'm going to install in just a moment. But now let's Let's dive into the advanced research so that we can go ahead and set up the supercomputer. As a matter of fact, even though I just built it, I think I'm going to bring the sludge press down. This requires the same space. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to bring it down here where we'll be going down. And instead of the sludge press right here, we're going to have the supercomputer. Also, this ration box, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the settings and then remove the ration box itself, making the space for the supercomputer right next to the printing pot. This way, we can also benefit from the lit workspace. Baseball. There is my storage. I'm going to set it to all but sweep only. So whatever I'm sweeping up should be stored in these storage bins. Now that this is open, all the polluted water should drop into the correct spots. So I'm just going to open this up. Wait, Nisbet, you can stay here and just do that. And there it goes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Collect that all at the bottom. My future liquid storage here should start with a ladder probably on either side. This ladder, I suspect, is going to disappear. But then I would like to see... Hmm, let me see. This is going to come down here. 
probably with a liquid vent so we can actually dump the sludge that we're pressing this is gonna come from over here actually so you can go then i would like to see my pitcher pump located right here i just see we can make this one deeper yeah we definitely should do that thank you another research completed this goes really quickly we got access to the mini pot but also no we already have the rock crusher i'm gonna actually build that here on the top let me just build it somewhere so i remember that i want to add it and then we also now have access to the supercomputer that i'm gonna build right here get rid of that cable the skill scrubber i don't actually require unless i'm making a mistake with the skills inside rocketry we also unlocked the telescope but i will be building that on the top not really something we can utilize now however now with the supercomputer we can do things like the deodorizers and we should totally go for that cleaning up this polluted oxygen is really gonna help our duplicants and also avoid spreading germs i'm not gonna do anything with the sludge press yet unless we actually finished the water storage actually before we remove the cable here this very last bit i could be using to create some more oxygen now that we're going for the deodorizers a sublimation station in conjunction with polluted dirt might be the perfect solution so if we want we can set this up here then i don't need to deconstruct the cables i can use them but also i need deodorizers all the way around in order to convert the resulting polluted oxygen into normal oxygen right away but it might be a good idea to get started with it even though if you look at it we still have lots and lots of things actually emitting polluted oxygen it's still better to have it under my control another research completed holy cow gas pump gas pipes the gas vent so everything that we already researched with the liquids we can now do with the gases Wow, check this out. What a starting planetoid. This is kind of insane with all the slime bombs. And this time around, it's actually dangerous. This is the first time this is dangerous to me. But yeah, I guess generally just let's keep going. And there is some more sedimentary rock. I'm just going to make it drop here on this tile. So whenever a dupe is building these ladders, they can use this material. Looks like hypothermia is going to be a topic in the beginning, especially until we have those liquids under control. Let's try to build the ceiling here wherever we already can the supercomputer is in place it is going to require an awful lot of water this is actually where we're going to get rid of most of the water just by doing the advanced research we need to do it sparingly until we're running the sludge press well and the next research out of the way we got access to the airflow tile so i'm gonna exchange these tiles as promised and these ones as well as a matter of fact this is probably gonna be the end so i'm not continuing this way therefore we can niftily close this off and it's not even too hot over here well a little bit too hot but something we can certainly deal with I'm going to move my pitcher pump slightly over. This way I can set up two of them and more duplicants can take advantage of it at the same time. Now we're actually missing the polluted water here for the farm task because I'm not building this quick enough. Therefore, let's set some priorities. Just this one here. I'm going to speed this up. There is my pitcher pump and we should be able to rectify this issue. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. Certainly a slightly stressful situation for Armari, yucky lungs, sopping wet and hypothermia. I'm sorry, times are gonna get better, I swear. With the sublimation station in place and airflow tiles, I should be able to set this up now. All I need is the deodorizer in order to take care of that, but we can already prepare the cabling and everything. And I feel like I have to hurry up with this part a little bit so we can drain all of the polluted water efficiently there it goes it's just beautiful absolutely magnificent let's keep going here and also every now and then once we reveal more terrain we should be able to harvest more plants well in this case i already did it new printables let's check it out still no duplicates i want to take aboard let's go for the nutrient bars by the way my ration box is already inside the carbon dioxide which is good so it's not gonna go stale quite as quickly more polluted water to drain i think at this point we can just connect the ladders right now because of the priorities i set amari here is only delivering the materials this is also practical so Nisbet, when she comes around can just go ahead and build the stuff armari i really like your thinking Yay! Research is completed. What did we get? The mechanized airlock, but more importantly, carbon skimmer and deodorizer. Let's go ahead and set up three deodorizers like so. This should be taking care of most of the polluted oxygen we're producing with the sublimation station. Now, we need to provide for sand. Right now, we only have two tons and that is not enough. So maybe we're gonna take this to the next level and set up a rock crusher here that is gonna allow us to produce the sand. 
And while I'm at it, I'm also going to set up a kiln next to it. Now, I'm soon going to run into issues with priorities. The sublimation station, for instance, and the deodorizers are not going to be provided for unless we change the priorities. If we check out the errands, we can see this is a supplying or life support task, which means this category here. For now, I'm going to dedicate Armari to it. But as soon as we get another duplicant to do so, I will change that again. There, Armari is already doing it. Thank you so much. Look at this. Sublimation station going for it producing polluted oxygen and the deodorizers are converting it into normal oxygen very good but look at that we already lost half of our sand that is just in here now it's not going to be used up in a cycle or so but it's still important that we generate some sand right now we have a lot of sedimentary rock and we also have a ton of sandstone well literally a ton so maybe i'm just going to do 10 crafts of that and we get an extra thousand kilograms of sand and i'm also going to do about 50 crafts of sedimentary rock right there. Jean, because there is no research going on at the moment, is taking care of that task. Yeah, it looks like they're just going back between the rock crusher and then, of course, the battery. We soon need to change the battery to something more efficient. Oh, meteor showers. It is happening, actually. Let me see that. Uh, can I see the meteor showers? No. Yeah, something is definitely happening here at the top. Wow. Okay, very nice. I didn't know we would be getting meteor showers here. You have no idea how happy that makes me that I have meteor showers on the main planetoid. Oh gosh, this is this makes the playthrough just so much better. Amazing. Problems I did not anticipate. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to make my way all the way up and see this happening. Let me now maybe take apart this ladder so that I can set up a larger battery that might be useful. As for the doors, we only really need them in order to specify the room, but we can can keep them open therefore the duplicants are not gonna waste any time opening them themselves and we also don't care about privacy in this colony there is my water cooler oh look at that we can actually use a different material for this minus 15 stress per cycle this is amazing but for the time being, I just want to disable the building. So we're not going to waste any water in the beginning. Finally, Nisbet decided to do the staircase here and we can get rid of the polluted water. Maybe finally continue on the real water storage. Yeah, I definitely just keep going here. Whoa, already new printables. This goes quickly. Wow, look at that meep. Cannot do digging, decrease calories, cannot do cooking, but 375 tidying speed and 600 kilograms of carrying capacity. Dude, I'm actually tempted. He doesn't need to be able to dig, right? Decrease calories just means 500 more per cycle. And he also cannot cook, which I don't care about. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for him because I need a dupe just taking care of the chores inside the base, shipping materials around. And starting with 15 strength is really good. Just for the 500 kilocalories, in the end, with close to 100 duplicates, it will really not matter. So Meep, come aboard. Thank you very much. Oh, we printed our first duplicant. And he's already going to town with cleaning. What a good dupe. Good. Now, all we need to do is sort out the priorities. We want to emphasize supplying, storing, tidying, and life support with this dupe. Maybe not in that order. That means decreasing, supplying, and storing again here for Armari. Tidying, I'm going to decrease even more for Armari and life support as well. No, actually, let's keep life support up. I'm going to decrease tidying and storing. Same thing here for Chin. Tidying and storing is going to be decreased. I want to make sure life support is the highest priority. After that, we're going to do supplying and even after that, storing. That means I'm going to disallow building completely and operating is going to have a lower priority for me. Okay, I like that so far. Let's also create a new schedule. We're going to have approximately five schedules in the end, but this one here is going to be dedicated to Meep for now. And we're just going to continue here with the same pattern. Three sleep time and three downtime slots. Meep, you go right there. Wonderful. So we just need to add another mess table and we should be golden. Great. Let's actually also set the skill point here for Meep. His preferred path is tidying, but here we only get some strength and we already have a lot. Here we get strength and plus 400 kilograms carrying capacity. So that's the way to go. But yeah, I would say with that out of the way, we're going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.